Down to the legs, again we have the, knee, the, uh, the thighs, we have the outside of the knee. Uh, on the outside of the thigh along the uh, pant seam here, you're going to have the common peroneal nerve. Again, it's a very good target area by hitting that. Uh, if you hit it with enough force, it uh, usually can cause a lo uh, locomotor dysfunction of the leg, causing the person to fall, and actually um, it's possible that he'll have trouble walking for a couple hours after that. Also, on the inside of the pants leg, you have, basically if you follow the seam, you have the femoral nerve. Again, if you, uh, if you attack that with a kick, for example, or even a forearm strike or any type of stick or weapon, um, again, you can cause local uh, motor dysfunction of that, uh, of that limb. And uh, again, a person will have uh, trouble walking. Final chance at getting a free Buccaneer machete. This is a $90 machete. It's 24 inches long, specially designed, hard shell sheath, makes it one of the fastest drawing machetes in the world. Best part, it's yours for free. Just pay shipping and handling to get this to your front door and I'll rush one out to you right away. I started with only 200. There are still some left, so get to the link in the description while you can. I'll see you over there. Going on down, we have the knees. Knees are excellent target areas. Um, it's better to attack the knees from the outside. They're less stable from that position rather than head on, unless his knees happen to be locked. If his knees are bent, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to, uh, at least from a head on attack, to do any damage. So my preference is always come from the outside in or inside out. We have the shins. Okay, the shins, you can't do much damage to it unless, one, you rake with the instep of your foot, um, or two, if you kick from the outside in. Again, uh, the way the bone is, is, is designed, um, it basically runs, it, it looks something like this with the tips of my finger being the front of the bone. So the bone is actually thinner from hitting it on the outside than if you hit it straight on. In fact, uh, if you try to kick somebody there, it's going to be, again, whoever's got the strongest, uh, strongest bones will win that fight. So always hit the, uh, the shin bone from the outside or from the inside. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.